is my terribly rough sketch of the two tutorials I'm going to do in today. There's um, this probably will be split into two separate ones, but I'm going to try and film them in one go. So they're actually quite similar in the technique. It's just the shape that we create and then doing the definition of eyes and the nose that will be different or that could be the mouth on the ghost depends which way you want to look at it um these are for halloween so i need to get them done quickly as today is the 29th and halloween is two days away so i want to get these done as quick as possible um and i just kind of wanted to show you my sort of rough sketches because i try and think of what the wire does and what it can do um and how i can work with it um so this is kind of the rough draft of what we're going to be making in this part of the tutorials this is going to be the ghost and then we'll do the skull uh, for this you're only really going to need wire but you can use beads if you so choose for the eyes and on the skull you will need beads for the teeth section because that is the easiest way of creating the mouth so wire one mil which is 18 gauge in America I believe and 0.35 these are my favorite gauges for working with in case you haven't noticed uh, which is 28 I believe in American again I'll write that in just in case I've got that wrong um, and you're gonna need I mean I always work off the reel with this but you're gonna need probably about two or three meters if you do the full thing uh, because we do the single coils wrapped around as I've mentioned in other ones and to begin with you are going to need 30 centimeters of the one millimeter wire to get started now to begin with we're going to start at what was the bottom um, and it's up to you if you use bail making pliers at this point or ordinary round nose pliers I'm going to use just the basic ordinary pair um, and I want to find the middle and what we're doing is we're going to be creating that bottom part where the ghost is uh, like the sheet is kind of wavy so that's what we're doing um, and it's up to you how many parts you want And how tight you do these will obviously determine how big the bottom part is so there we have that bottom part of the sheet and then we're going to bring it in okay and then this is going to be slightly larger I, I did do it previously a lot bigger than this because every time I do it I when I create I always make bigger and then try and scale down and I have scaled down quite a bit here than originally but I probably would still scale down more if I was doing this just as a pendant so um, if you want to make these tighter do um, and I'm going to go probably about to here which is two and a half centimetres and I'm going to bend the wire out and I'm going to do the same on the other side Um, and it doesn't matter if they're not exactly in the same place it's just the shape I'm gonna go about a centimeter along and bend it over we're creating those arms and the same on the other side creating those arms okay and then when we get back to the part that we're at I'm gonna kick that back up same on this side try and pull it back up so there we've got the body of our ghost and um, it's up to you if you want to form the head from this point or if you want to create a neck it doesn't really make a huge difference the point is is that we want to make this round shape now it might be an idea to use some sort of mandrel like your ring mandrel to go around at this point and try and create a circular shape as possible same on the opposite side ghosts kind of have uh, in the cartoony ones obviously um, they have this sort of 
off circular head if you've ever really paid attention um it's kind of sort of like an alien actually if you look at the same images like the drawings i, I, I did some google searches and um i kept noticing that that they kind of were similar in that way um so find the middle part bend up and then you've got enough to do a bail um on this particular tutorial i'm not going to do a bail i'm just going to turn these into circles and do it that way because otherwise the tutorial will run on too long um, and i do have a video on doing bales with two wire weaves i'll link that below okay so at this point what we need to do is we're going to have to create the face so i'm actually going to use my bale making pliers for this part because i want to keep them at about the right size so I'm not going to need a full 10 centimetres but I'm going to cut it off the reason being because every time I did this I kept changing it slightly so it was better for me to have a little bit more than a little bit less so to start what we're going to do is what will be probably the mouth and you decide if you want this to be the biggest loop or the smallest um, for me I want the mouth to be bigger so I'm going to try and find the halfway point I'm just going to bend the wire straight over and up slightly so we've got this O shape here um, and then I want to create what will be the eyes so I'm going to go in with the smallest and bend over and using the pliers I'm just going to bring this around as much as possible and bend it up and this is important because uh, I tried this in several different ways and I really it was easier when the end of the wire here when it sits in the shape it needs to sit up if you sit it like directly along yeah it still moves but um it just looked better this way um so that's just something I noticed when I was making I'm gonna do the same on the other side Okay, so we've got sort of the um, the face shape of our ghost here, and again, these are pointing up. That is important for the way it sits on the ghost. And we're going to use these tails to then curl over and sit on the frame. Probably not going to need that much, but just to begin with, I'm going to curl it as if we're using the full amount. Now you noticed I haven't closed them at this point because I haven't finished deciding where I want them to go. And these can move, which is why we do the single loops at the end. Um, so I'm just going to... Once I have it over the wire, Obviously it's not going to need to be this big, but I'm just going to coil it over some more. Same on this side, I don't need the full amount, so I'm going to cut a little bit off on each side. Coil it closed again, like closing a jump ring. Try and keep it straight as well so that it's not detracting from the um uh, da, da, da. so you can't see it when you're looking at it straight on okay so that's basically the ghost itself very simple and from this point on all i'm going to do is i'm going to do wraps single wrap across here and a single wrap all the way around the frame and the reason to do that is to fix this in place so that obviously it isn't moving um, so I'll probably end up speeding up this part of the video because it is obviously very simple like I just said and the whole point is that we're just trying to make sure that this is fixed in place and 
so that obviously the frame isn't moving any and then the the mouth section isn't moving any okay Okay, so I've wrapped just the head at this point. I will do the rest of the body, but there's no need to do that on camera. As again, I'm sure you all know how to do a single loop around. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna finish this bale. Um, and I said before, all I'm gonna be doing it is just two single loops. You could do a fancy bale. There is a tutorial for that. Um, but I just want to do a nice simple one. So I'm using my bell making pliers because I want them to be the same size. Okay, I'm going to take my flush cut pliers and cut and then close this up. I 
it's up to you if you do these straight up or slightly to the side. It's not going to make a huge difference at this point. Okay, cut that off. And again, close it up. Okay, and then it's up to you if you want these, like I just said, slightly to one side so that the cord goes on and it looks like it's free, free floating or if you want them dead straight up. Entirely up to you and the only part left is if you want to add in beads here or carry on doing the full frame. Um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'll come back when I've finished wrapping. I'm not going to do it all on camera because I'll be here for a week. And you don't need to see that. I'm just telling you that's what's going to happen next. Uh, so watch out for that in just a moment. Okay, guys. Okay, so the frame's all wrapped now. We've just got a couple of points where we need to cut the wire on the bottom. I've done it a lot looser, the coils, just to show you the different options. Like I said, if you do them looser, you end up using less wire. So that's just something to consider. Um, and also I realised whilst I was wrapping that some of you might be watching this for the first time so even though I did the anchoring of the wire earlier up here I never actually showed you how to finish off the wire so we're just going to do that now you want to get it as close to the wire as you can I like to pull it tight then find the point where it's closest and cut and I like to go back over the area with a pair of flat pliers on the inside and I like to rock just to make sure that it's as close as possible and when you run your fingers over it you're not going to get any sharp edges. I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to tug on it first, get it as closed as possible, trim it as close to the wire as I can and then rock. and set it down as much as we can okay so that is our ghost obviously it's a cartoon ghost um but our ghost pendant uh, in the next tutorial which should be going up tomorrow is a skull and i'm showing you how to, i'll put beads on that one um just to avoid repetition i won't do it here today uh, but that's it for our little ghosty if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe that really helps me out and um I also have a Facebook group, I mentioned it a few times in some of the videos and I'd love you all to come and join. I'll link that below. Uh, I think that's everything for now. So thank you all so much for watching and giving me your time and energy. It's very appreciated and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Love you all. Bye.